Hi, my name's Kate, and today we're going to be talking about the viral sensation that is Corn Kid. For me, I really like cold. If you've been on the internet for any point in time in the past two weeks, you will have heard of Corn Kid, whether it's the viral song that came out of his interview or just clips of the interview itself. Um, I have many, many thoughts about it, so today we're going to dive into those a little bit and mainly talk about how the internet has been exploiting Corn Kid. So this kid's name is Tariq, um, super cute kid, just really loves corn, and he got famous for an interview he did um, about corn, about how much he loves corn, uh, with a YouTube channel called Recess Therapy. Recess Therapy is a YouTuber that mainly talks to children about like what insights they can give about the world at their young age. It talks, his bio talks about him being 22, not knowing what he's doing, and so he's talking to kids to figure out what they know. Um, it's an interesting concept, except it revolves around exploiting children as like the main central point of the channel, which maybe makes it makes me feel a little icky, but um, interesting concept nonetheless. Um, but what really made Corn Kid, or Tariq as I'll be referring to him as, um, what made him really popular was when Shmoyo made parts of the interview into a song. Shmoyo is famous for a lot of different songs. He most recently did Chrissy Wake Up, which is insanely popular. Um, but that audio that Shmoyo made of Tariq talking about corn now has 316,000 videos made with it and billions of views probably at this point. Probably not billions, millions, but you know, very, very popular. Um, and it's become a huge trend on TikTok to use it talking about um, things that you love. Because um, of course, Tari of course, Tariq's talking about how much he loves corn, but you use it to talk about whatever you love so much. That's maybe a little bit uh, outside the box because most kids don't love corn necessarily. Um, and one of the things that I noticed as Tariq was coming up, I have never been like, oh my goodness, it's amazing. I love the corn like interview and all these things. Um, I don't hate it. He's a child. He just loves this thing. I What I do hate is how immediately, like I heard the audio and then maybe not even two days later, I saw an ad from Cameo, um, which is a company that you can, they have a bunch of celebrities on there and you can pay the celebrities to say things to you basically. Um, immediately, two days later, n maybe not even that long, saw a video of Tariq talking about how he's on Cameo. And what was really interesting about that to me was that he was only charged, he was charging 220 for customized video for um, just like individuals. I think it was actually originally 175, but it's 220 now. But then he was only charging $400 for corporate videos to like promote corporate brands, um, which I think is insane. If you know anything about YouTube and you know anything about sponsorships and stuff like that, those can be way more. And especially with the reach he has right now as an internet like sensation, um, he could be charging a lot more than he is. And I think I've seen that now it's up more up to like a thousand, but I haven't, I couldn't find any evidence of that. I saw a tweet saying that, but I couldn't find any proof that that's how much he's charging now, but it was 400 for a while until people were like, uh, you are severely undercharging for your child's image to be exploited. That's insane. You should, if you're going to exploit your child, at least get people to pay more. <laughs> so the main thing that concerns me with Tariq and his jump to fame, his rise to fame, is that I don't know how much of the money is going to him. Um, I know that he's getting part of the royalties from Shmoyo, um, which is good. I'm really happy for that. Part of the royalties is a little of a red flag. I don't know how much. Um, because obviously Shmoyo made the audio, he should be getting some revenue, but I don't know how much of that revenue is going directly to Tariq's family. And then within that, how much of that is directly going to Tariq. Obviously he's a kid, he's probably, I don't know how old he is. He seems like he's probably not older than eight years old, but um, yeah, he can't be that, he's not that old. So obviously he doesn't need the money right now, but put in a savings account for him to spend later. Th that is a huge concern to me, um, how much of this money that he is making and how much of it is, how much of it is going to him and how much of it is going to his family out of all of this, out of all the promotions, all of the advertisements, the Shmoyo 
song, all of it. Um, one other thing that really concerns me about his like rise to internet reality, um, he potentially, obviously, like I said, he's really young, but this will be true even if he's older, ha will have access to the whole internet's opinion of him. And that's concerning. And this is true for literally any child on the internet, um, any person on the internet really, but I think it's especially bad for younger kids um, whose self-esteem is still building and they're still understanding themselves and growing into themselves. Um, I was reading some tweets about him um, and I don't remember who was, I don't, I didn't save them, so I don't remember who was saying these things, but um, a lot of people had comments about just not liking him. Like they don't get the hype. And I'm like, he's a, he's just a child talking about something he loves. Um, and there was another thread that I read that I was just like, it took me a really long time to process it about whether or not he's autistic which being autistic is not a bad thing but strangers on the internet should not be speculating about whether or not a child is autistic that is not appropriate that is not cool um it's just it's just not that's a weird ass thing to do you should not be posting on the internet hypothesizing about whether or not a child is autistic based off of one strong thing that he loves like it all stems from him really loving corn and people are like oh he must be autistic it must be a special interest for him and that just is icky to me that people would be talking about a child that way um the whole of it that really really truly concerns me is the way we treat children on the internet um there was a whole conversation recently about shoot i can't remember her name now ren eleanor that's her name ren eleanor um and there was evidence that pedophiles were going after her and watching her videos and doing nasty stuff to it and her mom didn't care her mom knew these things and it was like basic essentially it boiled down to she doesn't care enough to protect her child what that's insane you it is your responsibility as the parent of that child to protect them that is your job and so there's stuff like that and then it also made me this whole thing uh with Tariq made me think back to uh Ryan's toy reviews or I think it, I think the YouTube channel is now called Ryan's World I don't know maybe he has multiple that's probably likely but the way that they've just totally taken this child, Ryan, and made him a YouTuber at, and he started when he was two, he was two years old when he started doing YouTube. And I just think that's insane. I feel like we should not have to monetize the things that kids love just to get them, just to make money off of them. Like to monetize a child who love, who just loves corn in Tariq's case. He just loves corn. He was just chilling. It seemed like he was probably like at a fair or something like that, um, where uh, recess therapy came up to him. They're just chilling. He's just eating his corn. And he seems like a really sweet and smart kid. But then to stick a camera on his face and to interview him. And then the one thing that really kind of weirded me out is that um, he went, uh, the guy who runs um, recess therapy went back and interviewed him a second time because the first video did really well. And that just, it just makes me feel icky to make your whole content based around kids, regardless of it's, of whether it's recess therapy or if it's um, like Ryan's World or Ryan Eleanor, like all of these things are really nasty things to do. Children should just be allowed to just be children. They shouldn't have to be money makers. And it seems as though Tariq's family does not know much about the internet um in the v in the initial interview video you see someone who is his family member who is visibly older i think it's probably i assume it's probably his grandma i don't know that um but if they are older then they may not understand all of what the internet is in its entirety and how much access there now is to this child who is a child who should not have act like it's it's just bad it's scary to me um I'm really glad I mean I I'm Gen Z I grew up in the age of the internet but there were boundaries for my that my parents put on us for the internet um there were boundaries put on us 
and although you can tell a kid that anything you post on the internet lasts forever, they can't comprehend that. Um, and that extended to me as well. I couldn't comprehend um, what it meant for my mom to post a personal story about me on the internet. And it creates such a weird relationship with social media for me, for my siblings, um, and a weird relationship with how I view myself um, to process the way that I, I view myself. It's just weird. It's really weird. And we need to be doing a better job to protect these kids um and ensure there there's no leap child labor laws on the internet like there are for film and tv um i think to some extent there needs to be legislature to prohibit kids from being overworked and underpaid with the rise of a new industry like social media i think that's really really important so i honestly don't know how to stop this from happening um i don't know that there is a way fully to stop this from happening i mean realistically kids have been there's been a way to exploit kids for most of time i think um and i think it's just worse with the internet because then those kids have access to see what other people say about them but um attempting to hold corporations accountable when stuff like this happens is good um obviously research therapy is not a corporation but um the corporations like the huskers who have been um commissioning um sponsorships from from Tariq I think that would help a lot um I mean a lot of people when that cameo video got posted expressed their discomfort with the way that they treated Tariq um in that video and the fact that they jumped on it so quickly um and I think that's really really good I think uh, I think that's a really awesome thing that people jumped on that so quickly a lot of people stitched that TikTok the cameo made a lot of people commented on it I think that's really awesome but at the same time, there's so much exploitation that is necessary for capitalism to keep going the way that it is, which should it be going? No, it shouldn't. But the reality is, is that I don't think there's a way to stop them from exploiting these kids. Um, I think legislating laws, labor, child labor laws for the internet would be great a great place to start, but I don't know that it solves the problem. I don't think it does because the internet is so, it, it it's still such new terrain. Um, I mean, it's been around for a while now, but people are still learning more and more about it every day. So I don't know, I don't know how to stop this from happening. Um, but the best you can do is try to protect kids in your own life from exploitation, from whether it's your actual own children, being aware of how them being on the internet will affect them. I recognize by posting this video, I am I, I am part of the problem of exploiting Tariq. I will be using his face in the thumbnail. I will be po using a photo of him in here and my whole video concept is structured around him. I recognize that I'm part of the problem. I don't know how to make it any better than it is for him. I feel horrible that he's been thrust into the situation. And although generally the internet really loves him right now, I'm worried that the internet will turn on him at some point, which is insane because he is a young child. I also think there's a lot of nuances to talk about how he's not a white kid, he's a black kid, and how that adds to the exploitation of him. I'm not the person who's qualified to talk about that, um, but I think there's a lot to be said there. Thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry that I don't have a, well, thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry I don't have like an optimistic, easy way to help combat this problem. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'd love to hear your takes um, on this whole situation and the exploitation of children on the internet in general. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, go check out my video from last week. I posted a video about Daredevil and the problem with Daredevil in the MCU as of right now. I hope that you are having a lovely day. Please take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.